We start here. Namibian President Hage Gaingop has passed away. The 82-year-old was the third president of Namibia since 2015. He was a former veteran of Swapo who participated in the struggle to liberate Namibia. Now, President Hage Gaingop was receiving medical treatment at Lady Pohamba Hospital in Vintok, where he passed on. Now, the Namibian government says he was surrounded by his family at the time of his passing. His death comes just weeks after he was diagnosed with cancer. Acting President Dr. Nangolo Mbumba says the cabinet will convene immediately. This is to make funeral arrangements. Now, this year, Namibia will go to the elections and Gaingop was expected to hand over power after the two terms in office. Now, President Sao Ramaphosa has conveyed his condolences to the Gaingop family and the people of the Republic of Namibia on the passing of President Hage Gaingop. Here is Vincent Magwenga, a spokesperson to the president. Are with the Gaingop family and the people of Namibia who have lost an outstanding leader in a year in which Namibia, like South Africa, is due to hold elections. President Gaingop was a towering veteran of Namibia's liberation from colonialism and apartheid. He was also greatly influential in the solidarity that the people of Namibia extended to the people of South Africa so that we could be free today. Today, South Africa joins the people of our sister state, Namibia, in mourning the passing of a leader, patriot, and a friend of South Africa. Now for more on the death of the Namibian president, Hage Gaingop, we speak to SABC's international editor, Sophie Mukwena, who's on the line for us. Good morning, Sophie. Thank you for your time. So any word from the acting president of Namibia on the cabinet me meeting that is discussing the funeral arrangements? No word yet from the acting president. They are currently in the meeting looking at uh, the preparations in relation to the memorial and also the funeral. We expect the government to send a statement as soon as uh, the cabinet meeting is done. And also uh, we expect the acting president to again address uh, the nation in Namibia in relation to where to uh, from here after the passing on of uh, Hagengop, the head of state of Namibia. And Sophie, as we're having this conversation, interestingly, just like South Africa, Namibia will be going into elections this year. So will this not affect the preparations for elections, particularly uh, on the Southwest Africa People's Organization, SWAPO? Well, in relation to elections, I think the Electoral Commission in that country uh, has been uh, preparing for elections. We have government in relation to providing security and infrastructure was already uh, miles ahead in terms of the preparations. But in relation to the governing party, SWAPO, we know that uh, last year the party did announce that uh, the current deputy prime minister who is also the foreign affairs minister of Namibia, will be the presidential candidate of SWAPO. And therefore, the transition was underway, and uh, I don't think there will be any problem in terms of uh, uh, that transition in relation to SWAPO on these coming elections and campaigns. She has already started, she has been visiting different regions in that country campaigning. Uh, she has been uh, on the international platform many times because of uh, heading a foreign affairs minister and uh, she's too familiar with global matters but also the relationship uh, of Namibia and other countries on the continent and uh, abroad. I remember very well uh, she represented Namibia at uh, the Nana Line Movement uh, meeting in Uganda a few weeks ago and also continued during the, non the, the, the G77 plus China meeting in the same country, Uganda. And therefore, uh, she is very familiar. And you'd recall that uh, last year, uh, before... Uh, uh, 
Zambia took over. President Gengop was the chair of the organ on Troika, uh, politics, defense and security in the SADC region. And at ministerial level, uh, Netumbo Namdi Ndaidwa was constantly chairing those meetings. And therefore, I don't see any problem in relation to their transition. Right, so Namibia was part of the frontline states. This was during the fighting for the liberation of countries in the southern part of Africa in particular. And are there any messages coming in from the former frontline states? You are correct, Ngozisi. I mean, President Jacob spent time in Zambia during the struggle. And therefore, yes, in relation to the frontline states, uh, he was a leader within that group and we've seen messages from countries such as tanzania and south africa but also in east africa president william ruto of kenya sending a message also and we expect more messages from the sadek region but also on the continent and globally particularly those countries that uh, are having strong bonds, trade and political, including security, uh, relations with Namibia. We expect some of those messages to trickle in, as we had earlier on, President Cyril Ramaphosa spokesperson Vincent talking about or reading that statement from the president on behalf of the South African president. All right, SABC News International Editor on the line, that's Sophie Mugwena. Thanks indeed for that update.